Holy smokes, it ain't no jokes. Crypto crashing, Israel under an attack. And I was right. October started in the worst way possible. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, moneymakers. So about 15, 20 minutes ago, we got a massive barrage of missiles towards Israel. Um, the worst thing was our son's friend was at the house uh, at a play date. And so we had to go with four boys into the bomb shelter. It wasn't a fun experience. <laughs> Uh, but it's over. We heard a lot of explosions, I think like 30, 40, 50 maybe explosions. Uh, and now we're waiting for the second wave. So far, crypto has uh, reacted uh, and we have seen Bitcoin drop, Shiba Inu drop. It's kind of reminding me of last time that this happened. If you remember uh, when the Iran sent the missiles uh, and we saw the drop off and the markets crashed. And it was the 13th, I think, of April, right? It was this day here. Uh, and the markets uh, crashed and then, well, they came back up. So from that kind of point here, I'm not that, uh, you know, scared about the the crypto drop here. Uh, more about, you know, my well-being. <laughs> uh, but I said I have a little bit of time now between uh, barrages, right? They say it's going to be in another hour. So I said, okay, I have a, a little bit of time to update you guys and say so far so good. Uh, we're okay. Um, we'll see what happens here. The the crypto market, of course, not liking this and Shiba Inu dropping here 10%, coming back a little bit, uh, but continuing to drop, drop, drop. Uh, you know, it's down already. Shiba Inu here from the high. Let's see how much Shiba Inu is down. About 26% in the last few days. Um, and you know, when it's funny when we just got in a little bit of greed, uh, things like this happen. And that's why, you know, I always tell you, October is supposed to be good, but geopolitical things, news, black swan events, things like that can only ha can always have an effect on what's going on. That's why, you know, I talk about our partner Margex and we talk about how you can defend yourself in situations like this. And when the market's selling off, if you had a position on the short, then you would have been, you know, made some money off of that would have been quote unquote insured a little bit, uh, but there might be soon opportunities to go the other way. Uh, hopefully there's not a, I'm just listening to hear if there's a, another another siren um, just to hear if, if we have to stop for a second. Um, but it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with the crypto markets. How fast will they recover? Um, because this really has nothing to do with the crypto market, right? Um, I had the, you can see here, there's a by the way, these are falling in open open areas, right? So this is in the desert, um, and it's probably just falling in open areas. Okay, I have to stop again because I'm getting another um, warning on my phone that I have to go back into the bomb shelter. Um, so we'll continue later, okay? I'm back. It actually just said that I can go out of the bomb shelter. <laughs> that was the alert. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so it's, uh, you know, not a great situation and we have this uh, attack here. Um, but for crypto, I mean, oh, wait, I have I have it, I'll open up. I sent it to myself. Um, it was funny because crypto was falling and gold was popping, right? And you can see here, right? This is crypto was dropping and gold was popping, right? And so it's an interesting scenario. People always talk about, well, Bitcoin is the you know hedge on your portfolio, but we've talked about this before, that Bitcoin is not a hedge because people don't buy it as a hedge, right? <laughs> if they bought it as a, as a hedge, right, they wouldn't be freaking out when something like this happens. And you can see, by the way, that it's the dominance is up, meaning it fell less than the rest of the crypto market, uh, which is, you know, falling down. Uh, you know, at a harder, harder rate, uh, and you know the the crypto bubbles. You can see everything turned red here. Um, but this is something that I anticipated. I don't know why I had a feeling, just because of what's happened in the past few days, that October wouldn't be as froggy as we thought. Just to open up, right? I, if you watched the morning video, I talked about this. How I don't know why I thought that something was going to go on, and that the crypto market would not give you know the the first initial gains. And we're seeing this, but there also might be great opportunity here because if this drop really has nothing to do with crypto, and by the way, the stock market, you know, dropping to, uh, where's the S&P 500? By 1.2% here, the S&P 500, uh, the NASDAQ down 2%. 
not too crazy, right? So NASDAQ is kind of in line with what Bitcoin is doing, 2 3%. Uh, there could be opportunity here to buy the dip. Again, that's up to you. Uh, that's, you know, according to what your um, risk um, management is, right? If you want to, you know, ride the wave a little bit here and, and try to, you know, catch it, that's a possibility, but it comes with risk because maybe suddenly there's another wave of missiles and then it starts, you know, coming down again. So we don't know uh, what the crypto market is going to do. And it's very important to, you know, stay safe in the sense of not freak out and not do anything ra irrational um, because, you know, we've talked about this the last in the past few days that a lot of what goes on in the crypto market is psychological. And a lot of what goes on in the crypto market is algo based. And, and we can see even if you look here, you can see as soon as it crossed over on the five minute chart, it's been massive sell off. And since then, it can't get over, can't get over with this 1348 EMA. It can't get over. And even uh, it, it dropped all the way down to the lower part of the green zone here. And Shiba Inu, again, there are probably a lot of shorts. You know, let's look at the liquidation, uh, how much liquidation. I'm sure there was a lot of liquidations because there was a lot of loading up for October. Um, half a billion, right? So $483 million uh, were liquidated. Biggest was a Bitcoin position on Binance, $12.66 million. Uh, so you can see even in the last hour, 39 or 40 billion million on Bitcoin, others and Ethereum. If we go back 12 hours, it's 100 million on Bitcoin, others 86 and 74 on Ethereum. So big liquidations here. Um, but you can see, sh where is there SHIB? No. Shiba Inu is not even in the top 20 of liquidations. So it's a lot of sell-off. It's a lot of uh, algo selling. Uh, and, you know, this is just part of part of the journey, part of the game. Uh, like I, I told you, when things go up, I don't get too excited. And when things go down, I don't get too freaked out just from a price action uh, point of view. Um, so it will be very interesting to see uh, where the the crypto market is going to go from here and where we're going to go, you know, in this whole Israel-Iran situation. Uh, what's what's going to happen with that? Will Israel retaliate? Will that crash the market again? Uh, you know, that, that could be on the table as well. Um, uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens here, but it's going to be a very interesting night for me. <laughs> uh, and it's going to be a very interesting couple of days here, a week for the crypto market. Uh, and hopefully we can see it start moving and, and start recovering from this uh, day of, uh, of smashing, this day of sell-off. <laughs> uh, and uh, we'll see, right? Uh, but of course, if you are using leverage trading, you have to be very careful. You can make a lot of money and you can lose a lot of money. Um, it flips on a switch. You know, I was I was uh, up on some positions. I went out of the house and, and the news came out and things went bananas. Uh, and my stop loss got hit. Um, so you don't know what's going to happen. And so you need to be very careful out there uh, and just make sure that you're, you know, taking your risk versus reward and, and you're you know, being careful. Okay. Of course, not financial advice, and you should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.